Greetings everyone and thank you for joining me again on our show Let's Get High on Myth. This is our fourth episode titled Blood of Zeus. In this episode I'll be talking about the second generation of Olympians. I'll be talking about the characteristics, how were they were what with what they were known of, their myth of birth, just general information so you get to know them more. There's a lot to cover, so this episode in fact is part of two it's in, in cut in two parts. This is the first part, so let's get started. We are going to start with a bang, with the first goddess, Athena. So Athena is the goddess of wisdom, warfare, strategy, and skill. She is an Olympian goddess. She is in art shown as a full-grown woman in combat armor, holding a spear and a shield in, in the other hand. She's often uh, depicted uh, with an owl on her shoulder as her symbol and sacred animal. So Athena was the daughter of Zeus and Metis, a titan. So Zeus followed Metis because he wanted her, but Metis wanted nothing to do with Zeus. But the poor thing ended up pregnant with his child. It wasn't until later that Zeus heard from Gaia that his first child or firstborn is destined to overthrow him, that Zeus is going to lose his kingdom to his first son. So Zeus, being the genius he is, decided he's going to swallow Metis pregnant to prevent the child from being born. But that didn't solve his problems, because after a while, Zeus started feeling a terrible headache. So he tried to get help. And when they split his head open, a fully grown Athena emerged from his head in combat armor. And it said when she was born, the earth shook and the sea trembled and it was a scream uh, echoed in all earth. Everyone was amazed by her power and instantly she became Zeus' favorite daughter. Another myth related with Athena, she's in, fa she, in fact that she competed with her uncle Poseidon over the rule or of a city to become the patron of that city. So in order to win the population of that city, each one of the gods had to present a gift to these people to get them to love them. Poseidon was the first one and he struck his trident in earth and a well of water was created. But that water turned out to be useless because that water was salty. But Athena, since she is wise, actually planted an olive tree. People were delighted to find this gift, olive tree. They could use the oil, they could use the olive oil. So they chose Athena and this city was known, became known as Athens. And they worshipped Athena in this city. So that's why olive tree is the symbol of peace and wisdom. Our second god is Ares. Ares was the Olympian god of war and destruction and violence. He was not loved by the gods and the mortals. He was often compared with his half sister, Athena. While Athena was appreciated and loved for her courage and wisdom, Ares was the opposite. He was despised and hate, got a lot of hate because whenever he went, he brought misfortune and disasters with him. He was so unloved by his parents that he was in fact kidnapped for 13 months and nobody even found out about that. I mean, how unlucky can you be? Our third gods are gonna be Artemis and Apollo. Starting with Artemis, she was the goddess, Olympian goddess of hunting wildness. She was also known as the protector of young girls. It was believed that she could bring diseases to the woman as well as cleanse them. Artemis was vengeful and impulsive in nature, but also very independent and confident, which made her a fierce warrior. She was associated with the knight in contrast to her brother Apollo, which was associated with the sun. She was uncontrollable and independent that, neither, neither, that even other gods couldn't even control her. Another myth related to her is the myth of her birth and her brother Apollo. So Artemis is the daughter of Zeus and Leto. So she was born outside of wedlock. And when Hera found out about the cheating of Zeus, she did not take that easily. But she didn't punish Zeus or confront him. Instead, she went after Leto and she cursed her, meaning that she could never set foot on earth where she can give birth. So poor Leto, she was pregnant, ready to deliver the babies, but had nowhere to settle down to give birth to these babies. It wasn't until later that Leto found a small island, which was not technically part of the earth or land, where she could give birth to her children. She gave birth to Artemis, the oldest one between the twins, 
and Artemis actually helped her mother to give birth to the second child, which was Apollo. For Artemis, how she's depicted in art, she's depicted as a beautiful young woman holding a bow with both hands aiming at her target. In some works, she's depicted as a winged goddess. Also of some works, she's also depicted holding, uh, sitting on the moon, hunting under the moonlight. <laughs> Now we come to our last god, Apollo. Apollo is the god of sun and light, poetry and music and also prophecies. He was actually worshipped in Delphi, so he had the temple in Delphi. He was also known to be very creative and loving for music. He was also the god of healing and also bringing disease and plague and also the god of diseases and plague. He was also depicted as a handsome young man holding a lair in one hand in some of the artworks. And uh, of course, he's the twin brother of Artemis, so you already know the story behind his birth. And one shared myth with his sister Artemis, and one the queen Niobe made fun of the, their mother Leto for having only twins, while she had seven daughters and seven sons, so in total 14 children. Him and his sister Artemis went and vengeed for their mother, his sister Artemis coldly killed the seven daughters and he killed the seven sons of Naobi. So this is, was our first episode. We were presented to Athena, Ares and Artemis and Apollo, the first four of the second generation of the Olympians. Join us in the second episode where I'll present the rest of the second generation of the Olympians. Thank you all for listening and watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed yourself and make sure to tune in next time and make sure to follow us on Instagram on Let's Get High On With. See you next time. Take care, everyone. Peace.